It was a time of massive social change. The Vietnam War was in full swing, and women, African Americans, and other marginalized citizens continued their fight for equality. Amid this significant shift, 21 young women joined Petty's student body. 50 years later, Petty's campus is bustling with female students, faculty, and staff. But there is a storied journey to where we are today. Petty changed its student composition three times throughout its 156-year history. By 1890, the school was thriving as a co-educational institution. But by 1907, as co-educational boarding schools were passing out of vogue, the trustees were persuaded to change the school's admissions policy, and Petty became an all-boys school. Decades later, at a time of evolving social norms and increasing economic pressures, Petty's trustees voted to accept female day students for the fall term. The return of female students provided a significant boost to the school's theater department. It took a couple of years to enroll enough female athletes to field girls' teams. In February 1973, the school's trustees voted to accept female boarding students that fall. Today, 50% of Petty's teaching staff is female. There has also been one female head of school in Petty history. That's me, Ann Seltzer. I served as the interim head of school for one year following the death of my friend Ed Potter. Today, female students are such an integral part of the Petty community. As students, athletes, artists, and school leaders, leaving us to wonder, how did Petty ever exist without girls?